Here's the situation. You're importing data from an outside source, maybe copying and pasting directly into Excel. And some of that information includes dates, and those dates don't come over in the proper date format. So once it gets into Excel, what you need is a way to convert that imported date into a value that Excel can recognize and use in formulas. Let's take a look at this example here. I copy and paste it from an outside source into Excel. And these are dates. They kind of don't even look like dates. They just look like numbers. I'm going to take a copy of this because I want to work with this, but yet leave the original data for you there to see what it looked like originally. So I can just choose one here, come over to Format Cells, and try to change it this way and convert it to a date. Here's the result of that, 13035. It should be 12814. So I know that Excel isn't recognizing this as a date and just changing it, trying to change it this way isn't going to work. But what will work is text to columns. So I highlight the whole column. I go to text to columns. I'm using Excel 2010 that's found on the data ribbon. Text to columns. This first box pops up. Leave it as is. Hit next. Second box pops up. Leave it as is. Hit next. Last box pops up. Change this to date. Leave month, day, year as is. Hit finish. Now I got some dates. Let me check it to see if it's a true date. I'm going to come to Format, look at the number, choose Number. It changed to a number, so now I know that I could use this in a formula if I needed to. Another way to do that is by using a formula. I can do this conversion with the text formula. First argument is value. Choose the value. The next one is going to be the format that I want. So first let's look at this. I have the possibility of a one-digit month or a two-digit month. If it's a one-digit month, these numbers that came over from the outside source do not have a zero in front of them. That's okay. If it's a two-digit day or a one-digit day, um, it will put a zero in front of a one-digit day. So the days are always going to be two. The years are always going to be two. So here's the format that I want. I'm going to start with a quote and go number, number for the month. Number, number for the day. Number, number for the year click OK. There we go. Now that looks like a date. Let me check the format on it and see if it switches to a number. When I choose number, it did not. So I can't use this in the formula. I want to use it in the formula. So I can make it, uh, I can convert this very quickly by just multiplying it by 1. There we go. Now let me check that just to be on the safe side. Hit number. It switched to a number. So that's exactly what I want. Grab it. Drag it. It caught the single digit months correctly, the double digit months correctly, the double digit days correctly, the single digit days correctly. Let me show you what I did here. And those are two ways to solve the SNEED.